over 30 years ago, we got Coming to America. And now this March 5th, we have Coming to America, coming to Amazon Prime videos. And I'm sure many of you guys are excited about this one. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to a brand new movie review. My name is Zach and if you guys enjoy talking movies, this is the place for you guys. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies over here on a daily basis as well as comment down below and let me know your guys' thoughts. What is your favorite moment from the original Coming to America and how excited are you for this brand new one? Of course, Coming to America is about the African monarch, Akeem, who learns he has a long lost son in the United States and must return to America to meet this unexpected heir and build a relationship with his son. This is of course stars the likes of Eddie Murphy, Wesley, Snipes, James Earl Jones, Arsino Hall, Kiki Lane, John Amos, Leslie Jones, and I mean even Jermaine Fowler, and honestly, a ton more people. Th this film has probably one of the biggest stacked casts in quite a while, and when you're coming back 30 years later from being one of the biggest classic comedies of all time, I mean, you gotta be excited for it, right? I, I was, and in fact, I just seen the first Coming to America this year for the first time, and I loved it. What an excellent moment, and one of my favorite moments from that movie in particular is when he walks outside and he goes, Hello, neighbors! Morning, my neighbors! Hey, fuck you! Yes! Yes! Fuck you, too! And then proceeds, yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about if you've seen the film. And definitely if you've seen that film, this one's going to probably work a lot more for you because of some of the throwback jokes. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely go check out that first one. This one in general, though, I want to get this straight out of the way. I liked it. I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was a blast. I thought it was a fun time. And definitely was cool seeing where all these characters had gone and just in general seeing... And coming back to this nation that we absolutely loved from the first one. And again, love Akeem. I, I love that character. You know, even after seeing it just for the first time, I, I feel and understand why so many people love Eddie Murphy in this role. And, you know, it was nice seeing him come back. And I would love to see a third one. But I do want to get everyone's expectations underhand and say this is not as great as the first one. I think it's a pretty far under it. I don't think this would become a classic comedy. But when it comes down to comedies and coming about years later this one was way better than i could have ever expected this is the concept alone because if you've seen the first one you'll probably ponder yourself well how does akeem have a long lost son and the explanation for that is actually pretty well done and actually pretty hilarious as well to see how they actually bring that about into the story but for me coming to america is something that i really need to really just dive into because one of the main things that came away in just the opening scenes is such a grand welcome to back to this entire world and this entire cast of characters that we absolutely adore. And you get that from the costume design, the production design, all that sorts of stuff just brings you wonders. It was excellent in the first film and it's excellent again in here as well. As well again is there are some jokes in here that are quite memorable and really much hit that laugh out loud moment again here and there. And the, the cast is just wonderful in here. Eddie Murphy as Akeem has not lost his touch and actually being 30 years later and now being a father and of course married to Lisa, there are so many different Different elements that can really much play around in that and his daughters are some of the main standouts in here especially Kiki Lane I've been a big fan of her since Beale Street I've been, I loved her in the old guard and she does a fantastic job in here as well Arsino Hall has all those little small moments as well that steal the show every single time Wesley Snipes plays the villain in here and he does great as well and of course Jermaine Fowler plays his son and what an excellent job he did in here as well because Fowler really molds his feelings into this and brings about a character that feels memorable to the coming to America world, but at the same time leaves a stamp that I very much appreciated. And again, one of the things that I very much love about the first film is the messages. And I think some of the messages and themes in here, especially when it comes down to the women of Akeem's life, really much is some of the stronger aspects of it all. And those throwback jokes that I mentioned in the first one really work wonders in here. And I think every single time they pop up, I just couldn't help but laugh and smile. I'll have a smile throughout this this entire movie there's not one little bit of it where i rolled or just, oh god this is going on where i've done with some other comedies that come out of the way left field and in general just shouldn't have been made i would say i enjoyed this one i can understand why it took so long to really build about even though i don't think it meets those levels as the first one it definitely still made me laugh and smile but let's talk about my cons right now for coming to america because one of my big things is it does feel like times 
a little bit TV movie than more just a movie. And a lot of that goes down to the story ideas itself and in general some of the concepts that they go through and even sequences. Some of the sequences do feel like something from Saturday Night Live. And, you know, I, I kind of wish they went a little bit deeper with that. Same with some of the messages. Some of the messages in here very much scratched the surface and I was like, there's a little bit more that you could have gone down right into there. And of course, going from Zamunda to America was such a big appeal from the first film. And I know a lot of people are expecting to get that same thing. How has America changed for them? And there are fun jokes in there. But something I need to really much mention is that this film is does barely take place in America. A lot of it takes place in Zamunda, which again, it caught me off guard for a little bit. But as the film continued, I actually really appreciated those elements. And again, feeling that fish out of water thing that Fowler actually plays inside here more than how Murphy played that in America. And I think those parallels really much worked, but that's something I need to mention so a lot of you guys can kind of get ready and expect that more than I did because it caught me out of left guard pretty much right when it went on. But, you know, the Zamunda thing, expanding that and really opening that world up a little bit more, I actually dug a lot. I mean, to America definitely is kind of a mixed bag for me in certain avenues, but as a comedy, I think it's effective in making you laugh and have a blast and fun time with it. And if that's the point of a comedy, that's the point of a comedy is to make you laugh and smile. And you can forgive a lot of your different cons, but I still need to mention those so you guys understand that. Murphy, Hall, Fowler, and of course Kiki Lane and even Wesley Snipes just kill these roles and have a blast within all of them. The entire cast here is great and a lot of the surprise people coming back to this one or even people that I didn't even know were in this really much blow it out of the water. There wasn't that one annoying character, that one joke that in general just kind of had me roll my eyes. I had a constant smile watching this movie and I think this is a worthy sequel to the first one, but it's definitely not as great as it could have been. It's still a good movie with just quite a few issues throughout it but again it's gonna make you laugh it's gonna make you smile so you'll totally forgive all that and i'm probably just being a nitpicker here so with all that said i'm gonna give coming to america a b minus Thank you guys again for clicking on this. You guys are seriously all the best. I cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts on this film. So if you've already seen it, comment down below your thoughts as well. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts on the first film, what your favorite moment is from that one. Hit that like and subscribe button, guys, as well as head on over to Sandwich Run Films on how to see films early. And of course, it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. So of course, guys, until next time, stay class. <laughs>